This is the Intelligent Work Cell project, and this is basically research on how robots and people can work together. When you have a robot like this, they're uh, generally uh, kept separate from people, uh, typically using some kind of a physical system. Typically, a robot is good at certain things, like welding, and a person might be good at certain other things, like uh, putting uh, some wires through a thin, small hole or something like that. So if a person needs to do something like that, you have to stop the robot and then you can come in and do that thing and then you can come back out and then start the robot again. But it's not very efficient. And so the idea is that we can give the robot some eyes so it knows where you are. We have 3D sensors mounted around the, the top corners of the room. There's four of them and they're looking down at the scene. What we do is combine those, those different sensors together um, to form like a composite view of what's going on. So it starts by welding this, that one and then it's going to come over here. But if I get too close to it, the, the robot stops. And if I move out of the way, it can start again. And if I'm behind it, it, it will also stop because uh, it doesn't know what I'm going to do. So as long as I uh, stay uh, far enough away, the robot's happy. But if I get too close, the robot stops. The robot can actually communicate what it's trying to do to me. Green indicates the direction the robot is like going to be going in. Uh, yellow in flashing is like a pause state. If I get too close to the robot, um, it shows red, and it shows red only in the direction where the problem is. On the floor, we have a similar kind of thing. Red is where the robot is. If I'm too close to the robot, it'll start to flash, and it's like white and red flashing. My blue is sort of intersecting with the robot. If I step back, the robot will start up again. So what we're doing is we're developing um, a task for some people to come in and assemble this while the robot is operating. And we're testing out these different modalities of feedback to see, is this an effective method? It seems like a good idea, but we, we need to experimentally show what, under what conditions we get a benefit from having this kind of feedback. You know, is it enough just to say, well, you just have to stay away from the robot, or do you really want to have a little bit of visualization so you can say, oh, oh, I'm too close, now I need to, I need to step back. So if I walk, the blue will come with me, and wherever I go, it, it shows. If you, if you uh, put something, you know, like here, it'll, it'll see that. 